All of these paintings seem to be inhabited by hovering or flying beings. Therefore, the reference in my titles to ships. This one is called Purple Ship 2. It might be a UFO, maybe it's some other kind of unknown vessel. And it's both mechanical and biological, so it becomes indeterminable. I grew up in Israel at the peak of brutalism, as it slowly fizzled into the 1980s. There were collective images that were all around that influenced me. I think you can say I was always and still am interested in authorless images, images that come from a collective unconsciousness, maybe became bastardized from a forgotten origin. LA has always been a place of varying degrees of isolation for me, even before this current mess. Israel is a very confrontational place and I was probably looking to get away from that. I saw the big nothingness of LA as a possible point of inspiration. After being here for years, I learned or I discovered that the things or the ideas that you run away from actually follow you wherever you go. I paint floating things and the paintings are always groundless. Might it be water, might it be sky. So I guess somehow I feel uprooted. But maybe it's a good headspace to be in, I don't know.